Nikon Z6 III files in low light. Do they explode? Are they fine? Let's find out together here from Tokyo. It was 110 degrees Fahrenheit outside and 100% humidity today. It's like Houston, Texas. And you can hear behind me, that's wind. It's a thunderstorm now. Welcome to Tokyo in the summer. Let's go inside my computer and try to blow up some files. So I guess I should put this in a box first. The fact that I do my best to shoot everything as correct as I can in camera. I'm not going to intentionally underexpose something in a crazy way and try to rely on the file to entirely recover it. If I do know that I'm shooting a very high contrast scene or something that I'm going to need to basically build a composite image out of, I'm going to bracket that image. I'm going to shoot a few. I'm going to layer them in post. I'm going to build it. I'm not going to expect files to do everything. Although Nikon files, I would say I am, I've never really found any real life limitations of these files. So white balance, we'll get crazy. We're going to do minus 100 highlights, plus 100 shadows. And then we're going to increase the exposure a little bit. I'm going to bring in a mask here, bump that exposure down a little bit. I'm going to match that with the road. And there we go. And the full reveal on zoom in, what do you think this game is going to look like? Do you think it's going to be absolute trash? Wow, that's so clean. I also shot this at one eighth of a second handheld at 28 millimeters. Um, yeah, this, whatever this is, is actually on the sign because there's so much detail in this image that I handheld at one eighth of a second. If we scroll to the sky, I'm sure we'll see some grain. I don't know. Is that a reasonable amount of grain for how heavily I worked this image. Is this something that I would normally do? No chance. Overall, thumbs up for that one. Here's a harder one. So one eighth of a second again. I'm exposing for the highlights here, I guess, but I'm still a little bit underexposed on these. Or maybe not, maybe that's fine. And let's increase the exposure. Let's also fix the white balance. Apologies for the wind noise in the background. It's going to be great to sleep to tonight. Bring down those shadows. Oh yeah, that just comes right back. You thought it was gone. Like, cool, it's a nice white LED you got there. How about the red is back? I don't know. I'm thinking that's looking all right. So I'm going to add my CL preset and increase this by 3.5 stops. Bring the highlights down a little bit. And let's zoom in for the reveal. I don't know, real life environment, that looks totally fine to me. Maybe save those reds in that sign a little bit more. What do you think? Is that fine for you? Is that not fine? I'm gonna go back up here. We're gonna go Blade Runner with this one. We got more Blade Runners coming up. And by Blade Runner, I mean you just make everything way too blue and you tell all your friends that this is exactly what Tokyo is like all the time. It is exactly this color. Color does not look too good. In real life, it looks something like that. In Blade Runner world, that's something a little bit more accurate, but maybe still on the, on the cooler tones. Overall, again, slow shutter speed, one third of a second handheld, and this is how good it's looking. Thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, these have all been at ISO 125. Let's go to something with a higher ISO. Let's go to ISO 6400, because I could have shot this at anything else, I don't, like 6400. Why am I at 1 500th of a second? Because I'm shooting it wrong intentionally in order to make demonstration images. There we go. Increase the exposure. We'll go plus two to make it nice and round. And then bring the highlights down somewhere around there. And let's zoom into the Hummer limo. I don't know, is that a reasonable amount of grain for 6400 that's been pushed two stops and highlights subtracted so much? So this area looks fine. Uh, if you come in here into the more underexposed areas, it's a little, little more grainy. I don't know, for an ISO 6400 image that's been pushed a bunch, I think that's pretty reasonable. We'll go down to an ISO 1250 image and we'll go a little, little, little touch of Blade Runner here. We'll do a little highlight, a little shadow boost. A little more Blade Runner in the blues, a little more contrast, and what do these look like? This is 1 50th of a second, by the way. Just a little bit more reasonable. I don't know, I think this is all looking quite acceptable to me. Can also run AI denoise in Lightroom if you're super concerned about noise on images. 
We'll go to some underexposed areas. That's what those are looking like. If you do want to get some of these files and play around with them yourself, I think you also have to go like really magenta on the tint too, right? To make it proper fantasy land here. There we go. <laughs> Lots of good detail. 1 50th of a second, again, handheld, but at 40 millimeters. I will make this a more correct white balance so you can actually see things properly. Underexposed Godzilla. I think it's looking fine. No complaints other than some perspective correction from shooting down on a city at 28. I don't know. Did the files explode? I don't think so. Was I happy enough with them? Yeah. Did I have to shoot some things incorrectly in order to create problems that didn't exist? Yeah. So we did right here. But sometimes you screw up. Sometimes the first kiss you shoot it accidentally at 6400 ISO or you're accidentally on shutter priority and you're at 8,000th of a second or something and you do have to save a file. I understand that that is a reality, but I would say in those cases, there's some tools like AI denoise and other things that can help get you through it or black and white as a very last resort. But overall, I am not mad with these files. Are you mad with these files? Or are you happy? So there it is. Grab these files if you're interested and give them a try yourself. I am overall quite happy with them and I do not see any cause for alarms. And for the next couple of days, I have a special on something pretty cool. The video's on the screen right now if you wanna have a look. And I'll see you again next time, probably from here in Tokyo. Goodbye.